Welcome to the 42nd Sun and Fun International Convention and Fly-In here at the Lakeland Linder Regional Airport. I'm Ben Coleman, one of your hosts here at the Florida Aviation Network, and we can be viewed and listened to at uh, www.floridaaviationnetwork.com. I know it's a little bit hard to remember, but it's floridaaviationnetwork.com. Long website. But every year, we are so tickled to be here talking to people that uh, fly airplanes, work on airplanes, own airplanes, want to buy airplanes, want to be pilots, uh, want to be aerobatic performers. And the only way to learn how to be an aerobatic performer, a true professional, is to surround yourself by professionals and just kind of learn as much and pick as much out of them as you can. That's what we're doing here today. And as a matter of fact, we happen to have some professionals sitting here to my left. Uh, and we have Harvey, Paul, and Dave. We are the... Aerostars. Aerostars, there you go. And uh, this is uh, one slot one, two, and three as That's you fly. That's correct. And uh, Aerostars, what makes the Aerostars tick? What makes it happen? How do you make the, all this happen uh, funding-wise? And I mean, it's gotta be expensive to go around the world doing all these uh, wonderful high precision aerobatic maneuvers. How do you do it? I think it's a pretty basic question. <laughs> uh, uh, I, think, uh, I think it's the cohesion of uh, the team itself and how we, how we uh, came together as a group, um, or as a team, I should say. We started, uh, this is our 15th year, mm. and uh, we've flown uh, Sun in front for the, uh, we've only missed uh, two, and that one was for a medical uh, reason, and, uh, uh, and uh, the other one, uh, whether that or something like that came surgery. Over. Surgery, that's what it was. Yeah, broken knee or what is it? You, I think it was you. But uh, so uh, what way makes to go, us, Paul. Yeah, exactly. Appreciate but, that. <laughs> what makes a tick is that uh, the nice thing about it is we all live very, very close together, so we're able to practice quite often, and uh, uh, um, our families are close. Uh, we've been together, like I said uh, before, for 15 years, and it's been a, it's been an adventure. We, we really enjoy it, and. Uh, we just want to keep continuing doing what we do. Well, you guys look, you're young enough, you guys could be doing this for the next 15, 20 years. Oh, well, we Thank plan you. on it. Sure. We plan on it. Uh, and you know, it's, it's, a, it's a team effort, and you know, these, these guys are, we're, we're family. And, uh, and you have to be in, in that type of flying environment. It's, it's very, very tight, very tight knit. There you go. And, oh, so. You can have the desire to, mm -hmm. to fly, uh, and, and, <coughs> and the, but, but it's also incredibly expensive. Mm -hmm. And w without the support of our primary sponsor, Philip 66, uh, you know, a lot of what we do si simply wouldn't, wouldn't be possible. <coughs> um, oh. Our opening maneuver, we put that on, what, about six years ago, seven yeah. years ago? Uh, and that maneuver alone was s over 6,000 in fuel, mm. just, for the, just for the point where we could bring that maneuver to the show. Just, just in training? Wow. Training well, costs and not, that doesn't include oil, engine reserves, and maintenance. That's just the fuel bill was six thousand to well, bring that. Well, just uh, and, 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 and to echo that, if it wasn't for our sponsorship and our uh, and folks that that believe in the industry and and want to keep yeah. their name and face out there, uh, like Philip sixty six. Uh, I mean, their oil. I I, I use their oil. I, I got to admit, because it, it's good stuff. It's smart. It's smart good decision. stuff and. Uh, well, you know, as a matter of fact, just a little segue for Philip 66, the uh, used to break in oil for uh, your engines with the first runs. Mm -hmm. You have to run straight mineral. Not anymore. You, right. you throw some uh, uh, cross-country uh, Philip 66 oil in there from, from the day one, and you don't have to go through that break-in period anymore. It's good for break-in and good for wear-in and good for longevity. Right. Uh, that sounded like the Philip 66 commercial, didn't it? That's right. Exactly. Well, and, and, and the science behind that is... Uh, you know, there, there's mineral oils, but uh, uh, multi-viscosity oil mm -hmm. is uh, the automotive industry went to it long before the aviation industry did, and it really has merit, uh, especially in where we fly. We're up north, cold weather starts, mm -hmm. and then when we transit down to uh, South Florida, temperature extreme. So the multi-viscosity, uh, especially the uh, the XC brand, is a very, very useful product. And uh, Harvey, you are number one. Yes. Uh, is that because you're out in front most and you have the less likelihood of hitting somebody? 
Well, I've or, got my power up so these guys can't catch me. <laughs> okay, that's good. <laughs> a long time ago, we came to an agreement <coughs> that Harvey wouldn't hit the ground and we wouldn't hit him. <coughs> we, we, we came to that agreement years ago. It's, it's, well, it's, I'm glad it's, to see so far it's worked. Yes, uh, it's, okay, it's worked good. out quite, quite well. <laughs> well, that's good. And uh, tell us a little bit about the machines that you fly. Well, the Yak-52 is a... Uh, uh, Yaks. Yak 52 TW. Five two. Got it. It's a little bit smaller than a T6. It's a, the military uh, trainer of uh, the past Soviet Union. Um, mm -hmm. At the fall of the um, Soviet Empire, uh, <coughs> the aerospace industry kind of broke up in sections, and different uh, countries uh, took pieces of it. Uh, Romania actually took Yakolov, and uh, uh, they rebuilt the airplane and marketed it in a mm -hmm. Western version. Uh, my airplane's the oldest. It's a 2001, and I think. Paul and Harvey's are uh, running uh, about 2002, 2003. Right. But by the time they mm -hmm. all uh, showed up and we put them together before we could actually form the team. But uh, um, they're a great airplane for what we use them for. The airplane has uh, very good inverted uh, uh, oil and fuel capability, uh, much different than what the T6 has. Uh, we can uh, you know, remain upside down for an extended period of time. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't have to worry about you know, fuel starvation or oil starvation. Uh, the engines are very dependable. It's a very good platform for formation and formation aerobatics, what we use the airplane for. It wasn't a forethought. We actually came together as a, as a, as a group and as a team and put a business plan together. Mm -hmm. And that business plan uh, uh, we, that we adopted, we looked at all the different variants of airplanes out there. And this airplane was really the only thing that really fit the bill that we wanted, you know, such as the round motor. I mean, we could have gone out and, and done a T6 uh, version with our buddy's uh, aeroshell, but uh, being that we're a little bit different, uh, we like to think of them as... Uh, uh, not only our brothers, but a little bit of a competition between the two two groups. Being with healthy Phillips. competition, healthy, healthy. Always. yeah, we Very love those guys. Friendly competition, there exactly. Go. We won't we won't uh, miss a practical joke on them, but uh, we do spend a lot of time uh, hanging with those guys at a lot of different air shows. And for the most part, Steve Gustafson, for the most part, he says some good, nice things about you. I would yeah. hope so. <laughs> because. Uh, <laughs> No, Steve, all those guys are uh, you, great, you're first class. Great, guys. great guys. We've been doing a lot of air shows. We've with known them. them for a lot of years. And, uh, matter of fact, they gave us, uh, back when we first started, they gave us a lot of techniques and pointers that uh, that we use to develop our, um, our, our routine. So, Like, why were we barreling both ways instead of just one? Because we didn't <laughs> know any better. That makes sense, <laughs> now that you mention it. Well, the thing is, is that if you uh, barrel both ways, it's all different inputs and uh, di different mu muscle memory. And uh, if you learn to do it just one way, you can get real good at one way and not uh, have to learn another way. So, and as you know, in all those uh, uh, sequences and those uh, um, shows that we perform, every figure has to coincide with a, a, a figure that goes back the opposite direction. Yeah. You can do yeah. figures all day long like loops, but you're going to be in, you know, Next east, County. east coast. <laughs> right, exactly. People so. want to be able to see you. Sure, sure. <laughs> exactly. And, and, and that's, that's another thing about the act is that uh, its performance lends itself to keeping uh, in front of the crowd for most of the show. Mm -hmm. and, so and, that, that's, and uh, that's what we do. That, that's that's, that's our, our primary purpose is uh, to keep it as tight as possible and keep it, keep it happening in front of the crowd all the time. Tight and very, very maneuverable. They, they do look like nimble aircraft. I've yeah. never flown a Yak. We, we like to normal, say it, it's, it's a great airplane to fly for 17 minutes. But if we could hire out the, the fairing of the airplane back and forth from air show to air show, we'd do it in a heartbeat. It's kind of slow. If we could box them up and ship them to air shows, we'd do it. <laughs> exactly. Well, I, there's probably some kids here that'd be more than happy yeah, we to uh, reposition your yeah, airplane. We right. have some of those that work for us as well. Okay. They do. They the, do. Tell us a little bit about the engine. Uh, you, you mentioned you use radials. It's, a, it's, it's an M14 uh, nine-cylinder radial. Approximately 600 cubic inches. Turns the wrong way. It does. Okay. It turns the wrong way. Okay. But uh, that's very intuitive. First that time you get in it, you just look out and keep it straight. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, extremely reliable, uh, supercharged. Mm -hmm. So uh, you know, we pull about uh, 39 inches of manifold mm -hmm. pressure and uh, 400 horsepower. It, it, it is a, it's a great engine. Um, I mean, it is really bulletproof. We've gone through two of them now. Um, and we always have to have a, have a spare, but uh, we get probably with the heavy, heavy flying that we do, we get about a thousand hours on them before we uh, end up changing them. But uh, and, and which is great in our environment. Uh, you, you, you know, you can't believe you can't believe do how you, uh, hard you, do we you, fly them. When you travel, do you travel with a with a backup uh, power plant? 
No. No. Okay, no. you you got one back at home. Got two back. We, we have spare motors at home. <coughs> in the box. All right, I'm fixed to we, say that. But we had uh, we had an issue last year, um, oops, uh, where we actually uh, had a engine problem that required a motor change at the uh, Gary Air Show, and it was just a week before uh, um, Oshkosh Air Venture. So. We ended That's up, exciting. Yeah, we uh, tried as hard. I mean, it's about 100 man hours to change your motor, so uh, we tried to get it uh, done in time, but it didn't happen. So we ended up flying a two ship show at uh, Air Venture last year. But uh, well, 100 man hours, you got 10 men working on it. it only takes eight or 10 hours. To That's do it. right. Well, the, the, the trick problem is, is finding 10 men who know what they're doing. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> on on that, that engine. The other trick is getting them around the. You know, you got too many hands in the in the well, cookie you jar. Get, you know, you get 10 men or five women. That's it. Days, Women are much more efficient than men. They, uh, that's that was what my the wife says. Absolutely. That's Absolutely. right. No argument here. Yes, no, dear. Exactly. My, <laughs> yes, my wife dear. might see this. No, exactly. Yes, dear. Exactly. Uh, and uh, as far as the air stars, you've been doing this for roughly 15 years, you say? Yes. yes. Uh, uh, we put the initial business plan together. In fact, the team started with a phone call. I was looking for uh, uh, an airplane to fly, and Dave had his Pitts S2C advertised in trade plane. And I called him and we chatted for what, about a half an hour, 45 minutes, and at the end of the conversation, I said, well, what are you gonna replace it with? He says, well, I'm looking at one of these yak tail wheels. Said, oh, what are you gonna do with that? Because that was on my list. Mm. That was an airplane on my list. He says, well, I wanna get a couple guys together and uh, maybe start a formation aerobatic team. And that was the genesis of the team. That was a spark. Yeah. Right, exactly. and, then, and then we, uh, we uh, introduced the concept to Paul, and course it took him less than a nanosecond to jump on board matter of fact it's kind Who's of funny. in <laughs> <laughs> he actually had a yak at the time but the tricycle gear version lower oh. horsepower the the, the 52 straight the 52, 52 right. 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 kind of ugly when the gears up it's ugly it does kind of look like gangly yeah. yes yeah. 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 so I, I had one of those and you had I just bought it yeah, yeah you I only had it for about 30 days i know that was you spent. You started with a, what buying a forty thousand dollar yak, and it went right to a hundred and sixty five thousand dollar yak. And, uh, and that one was going to last me at least ten years. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and then I, and then I immediately put it up for sale and ordered a, a brand new one, and uh, from the factory. And uh, his wife loved that. Huh? I thought, uh, and for a while there, I was going to own two airplanes and not be able to fly, afford to fly either one of them. So, anyways, well, ultimately, well, ultimately, I was able to sell it. And uh, you sold it to a guy in New Zealand. Bought it sight unseen. Real. Yeah. That created quite a ruckus because I was exporting military hardware. Ooh, ITAR. Yeah. There you so, go. Uh, uh, you know, there was all sorts of <laughs> <laughs> all sorts of hoops that jump through. And well, Paul's, well, sorry, Paul's airplane and my airplane are are, are kin. They the came sisters. over in the same box. In a seat container together. Really? Yeah. Uh, uh, one literally. serial number apart. One serial so number. So it's, it's right. a sister ships. They are. Well, that was also one of the reasons we chose the airplane, because we didn't want something with, you know, 50 years of corrosion building up somewhere mm -hmm. hiding. Mm -hmm. Because of the show we do, we're you know we routinely pull five, six Gs in our in our show. It's not nice to talk about the air show team like that. I, 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 I didn't say it. <laughs> that was for you, Gene. Gene McNeely, you, you rascal for not showing up. Well, we, we wanted airplanes that we knew the history of and we put all the time on. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, what we're doing, there's an element of risk, mm -hmm. and we wanted to take the uncertainty of the airframe out of it. Well, and, uh, you bring up a point uh, that I mentioned the other day. If you break down the word safe, it's free from harm. And, you know, we're not safe sitting here in this set. You know, that ultralight can fall, fall on us right now. But uh, you can do things safely, as right. safely exactly as right. possible. And There's I think exposure and everything. That's why you exactly. uh, you practice so much. And these airplanes can hurt you. Uh, they're beautiful. They're nice machines. Uh, they've proven themselves, but they can still hurt you. But don't we allow them to hurt us? Is that usually the way it happens for that's the right. most part? It's, yeah, when you, when you set limits and then it's, uh, you know, it's those, those times that you exceed those limits that you've set for yourself, uh, that's when we find ourselves getting into trouble. And over the years, um, we've gotten more conservative, mm -hmm. respect those limits. And that's good. And a lot of times people try to get lower and lower and lower and make it more spectacular and exhilarating, but you get down so low and people can't see you. So well, you really can only, you you can only tie the low flying record. <laughs> yeah, you can the, never beat it. 
they, they, there's some right. folks that have tied it many times. You right. Know. That's exactly right. Uh, and speaking of one of the uh, one of the old timers that I have a lot of respect for, Bob Hoover. Uh, anytime you talk to Bob about uh, flying and uh, some of the things he's done, man's got to know his limitations. That's exactly right. That's and he right. always, he did, I, uh, that's the only thing I will <coughs> that will stick out in my mind about all the times I've talked to Bob. But uh, where do we go from here? Are you gonna are you gonna add another ship? Are you gonna do a four ship or three ship or no. uh, are you gonna just do more air shows? Are you gonna just concentrate on doing the ones that you do? And uh, I cast every year. You, that's when you typically sign up. Well, uh, we what do you want to do? We, we originally uh, were going to do this as a four ship, and uh, the, the one person that we had uh, uh, interviewed and uh, it didn't work out for me mm -hmm. and. Financial, actually, yeah, the financial equipment. Right, the financial side of it didn't work out, and it was actually it turned out to be a good thing because we can do just as much with the three ship mm -hmm. as we can with a, with the four, and uh, you know we've we've uh, got a lot more efficiency with only three mm -hmm. versus four. So, well, and it, it requires a little less airspace, so therefore you can do it tighter. Correct. You stay in front of the crowd. Rejoins are quicker, quicker with yeah. exactly. three versus sure. four. And um, it'd be nice to have a, a spare airframe at times, you know. I was it, just fixing to say, it'd be nice to have number it, four just sitting there uh, ready to, it, to hit right, us That would be ideal, but th you have all that capital tied up then, too, that you're not necessarily l using. So. Well, I'm here appealing to uh, <laughs> Philip 66. Uh, we can get these guys ship number four, can't we? Oh, we Donation? can do a 12 ship. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hey, exactly. maybe a Saturday and a Sunday ship. <laughs> That's yeah, exactly right. right. So. Exactly. Actually, we'll run two uh, Phillips 66 teams. Right. One East Coast and one West Coast. I like the way Ben thinks. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Just we're here for you, Paul. Yes, Appreciate here for that. You. Excellent. Uh, you know, a lot of the footage and uh, your foot. I don't know how you guys do it, but you are splattered all over a lot of uh, places for footage, mm -hmm. and uh, it's a lot of exposure. I don't know what it is. Maybe the 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 ring of Aero uh, Star. Uh, it's. I, I don't know, I don't what, know it what it is, but it's... I think people like teams. They like, um, you know, not to uh, diminish what the solo performers do, because it, it's awesome, but people like teams. Mm -hmm. they, they relate to teams. You know, a lot of things we do in life, um, it's teamwork. And, and so when they see three airplanes up there in the sky, it's, it's pretty amazing to see, you know, that level of teamwork that close together. Well, and another thing, let me throw this out there about the team spirit is I always see you guys together. Seldom do I see you scattered or one-on-one. -on -one and uh, Same with the aeroshell team. They, they, they go as a pack and they're That's heard. Exactly right. And, uh, and it's, it's comfortable that way. I, it, it's good. I don't know how to, I wouldn't recognize Steve Gustafson, Gustafson if you wasn't near Mark Henley. Yeah. It yeah. Just would, I know you from somewhere. Uh, Oh, you're one of the aeroshell guys, yeah. right? But but when working as a, as a team and a true group, uh, it's obviously that you, you you get along well, live in the same general area. What do you do for backgrounds? I mean, uh, I know airshow piloting pays a lot of money. Yeah, we're all professional. Uh, you're gonna get rich. We're all professional pilots. Yeah. Okay, so you're I fly uh, for a major airline. Okay, Harvey does. Airlines. Paul's X airline current corporate pilot. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Actually. Uh, <laughs> Yeah. It's a pretty good gig. Yeah, yeah. it's not too bad. It's, it's it allows them to fly a lot of air shows. I can fly sh more shows this way. So. Well, that's good. And uh, I, I only say it, I, I say that tongue in cheek. My, uh, I've got a little co corporate background, and it, uh, I don't mind carrying a bag, and uh, I can serve a, a coke, and I can serve a sandwich. And These a the guys I'm flying around are engineers, and they're always on time. Oh, it's 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 that. phenomenal. That's, that's These amazing. These guys are really. And they're sharp, high level, high energy, on time guys, and I, I have flown guys who are not on time. Yeah, that's that's tough. But so when you say w the corporate pilot ra uh, routine is, uh, it's it's sometimes the luck of the draw because it's it's a hard job. It, it's it, it can, can be, be difficult. Job. Yeah, I've, I've flown for difficult owners slash companies and. And, and this one's a good one. To and you are your dispatcher. You are your fueler. You are your services and handling. Yeah. And you Kinda guys. like the Aerostar. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> That's exactly right. But one, uh, 121 is nice. I did that too. You know, the airline end of it. I used to fly freight for a 
company that got rid of their U.S. domestic operation. Mm -hmm. Three initials, but oh, uh, <laughs> we won't. Uh, <coughs> <laughs> but anyhow, uh, uh, so yeah, I, have, I landed on my feet flying good, uh, good. corporate now. So. Well, it, it's obvious that you guys uh, enjoy what you do, and that's one thing. I think it's common spirit in all of the aviation side of the house is, you know, it's it's more of a hobby that you kind of make some money or even if you break even, uh, if you can keep the lights on and provide for family, it's a lot of fun. It's exactly right. And Labor of love. Yeah, it exactly is. Right. And, that, and a lot of these young kids walking around here trying to figure out how to be air show pilots, uh, uh, if they're here, that's a, that's a first step. Right. Uh, that's how we got started, ultimately. Sure. Hanging on at, a fence. At an air show. Exactly. Uh, sweeping hangers, can I do anything for you? Uh, Pumping Harvey? gas. Yep. Can I you know, clean the belly of airplane? Oh, yeah. yeah. I, mean, I, re I remember in 76 seeing the blues, uh, Corpus Christi, thinking that was pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. I'd yeah. like to do that someday. Yeah. I wonder if I could. And all, our, all, all of us have children that are, uh, you know, uh, involved in aviation one way or the other. Yeah, well, so we're, we're blessed. Well, and here you are, and uh, we're blessed to have you here with us, too. Well, thanks, Ben. Our thanks pleasure. for joining us, and uh, we're going to kind of tie it off, because I know there's other places you need to be right now. Well, Take Charlie. time out of your busy schedule to sit here with the Florida Aviation Network. But hopefully we've uh, hit a spark with uh, one of these folks that's going to be watching this or listening to it over the air. And uh, you might want to tune on and uh, have your kids see, see Dad on TV. I love well, it. We'd like Sometime. to thank, thank everybody for coming to the show. They make it, it is happen. Good. Absolutely. It is good. And we're going to do it again. Uh, we're going to wrap up this interview, and, and, and we're talking in formation. We're going to knock it off. We're going to peel out and uh, come back for another interview uh, later on today. Take it easy.